So I think I want to attack Siam and then obviously start to cut through lower Japan or I guess southern Japan. My fear though obviously is the, the lack of a fleet that I have. Because last time we traveled out towards the Java Sea, uh, we got absolutely wrecked by, by all sorts of, I mean the British fleet, the Japanese fleet, we were losing all over the place. And we're really in no situation to be able to take those, those two great nations on. But I think attacking the Japanese through Siamese territory will give us a, a lot better of a chance that we, we just kind of keep away from the oceans. Um, I think I want to try it. I'm losing, you know, a lot of manpower obviously right now. But let's focus on, first of all, winning this battle here finally. And I think we might have it. Looks like we might finally have it. Ooh, they're pushing back. Now, I could try to surround this unit. I could always try to surround this unit. That might not be a, a terrible idea. I don't even need... Let's see, if we were to take the Marines... Just the Marines. Let's try this while we wait. How many convoys am I? I'm at 78 convoys now. Maybe taking the Marines away isn't like the best idea. Come on, you're almost there. Collective Ethos, which is going to give us more political power. Daily Communism support. I like it. Where is our Communist support at, anyways? Oh, yeah, we're really Communists. Fall of Leningrad, that's not good. The Soviets are not doing so well. That's really scary. That is really scary. Come on, let's win this. Come on, let's finally win this. That way I don't have to go around. There it is. Nice. Okay, rush them. Just rush straight through. You got this. Is it? This is German Reich too, right? Yeah, it is. How many islands can I... Oh, I can go all the way over. Where did the division go then? Okay, convoy escorts. What happened? Uh-oh. Can you get out of my way? Fall... Oh, crap. We're going to lose our biggest ally. I think we're going to lose our biggest ally pretty soon. Uh, I'd like to start researching a little bit more planes... Especially when it comes to fighters, because I don't have very many fighters. I don't have the best fighters. Let's go ahead and do fighter one. Okay, so there it is. Now, let's have everyone travel back. Jeez, I'm scared of sending people over, but let's have everyone travel back to this naval base. Hey, Soviets, you want to just give me the rest of your army before you capitulate? Because that would be nice. How are we doing this in this war, anyways? Uh, 5% in terms of, in, in favor of the defenders. That's not good. Yeah, that is not good. Okay, and the Japanese are also pushing heavily against the Soviets, too. This is not good. We have got to add some extra... We, we've got to help out. We've got to do something here. And I don't really know what's over this way. Let's make sure that we assign everybody to this group. There we go. Okay, so 14 divisions. Not bad. I don't want to sit here. That's like the biggest mistake I could make is, is sit here. I'm really afraid of, of just sending my units to go garrison. But I think I have to. And let's just hope for the best. I've got, I've got my fleet is at 50, which is nice. I just want to be careful of the Japanese. I'm assuming that the British are gone. I'm going to hope that the British are gone. Really, really hope that they're gone at this point. And uh, for you guys, I'll have you come garrison that island. We'll try to make some naval invasions. And, I, you know, I'd rather make a naval invasion of Siam instead of the British. I think that would work out much better. 37,000 manpower. Oh, crap. Who is that? Well, we usually have a... We've had a much better chance of fighting the British than we've had fighting... Uh, oh, there the British at. Come on. We've got 50 ships. 50. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That's a good amount of ships. 
I'm like trying to re... I'm trying to like, yeah, reaffirm myself here. Hmm. No factories assigned. Service by requirement. Total need. We actually need more of this. We're starting to, to run out. In terms of resources, how are we how are we doing? We're doing okay. Hmm. I need to watch this. What am I what am I constructing right now? I'm guessing civilian factories? We're rebuilding actually a lot of things. Okay, I'll let them rebuild. Come on, people stay safe. I uh, I'm this is okay so far. This is the British fleet that gave us a lot of trouble. And uh, boat-wise, we're doing better. What am I researching right now? And what do we get in the future? Support equipment three. Okay, so we've got to switch to that. Obviously. Java. Oh, okay, yeah, we knew about that. Okay, now before I do anything here, let's just make sure that we switch this to support equipment 3. Might even want to boost you guys up a little bit. I kind of also would like to not forget that we should probably get some heavy cruisers out. Well, we've got light cruisers 2, battleship 1. Well, there's no point in getting any 1 levels, level 1 boats. I don't think that's going to really do much of anything. I still have a lot of divisions that are still needing to come over, so... I want to address the situation after we have those divisions come over. Mechanized one. Mountaineers, paratroopers. You can probably avoid that for now. Battle cruisers. We could use additional air, close air support. Wait a second, wait a second, though. How is industry? It's March, don't want to rush anything. Research decrease, there we go. Let's go after that. It's gonna take a long time, though. Okay, I think, I think, we're, a, I think we're in a much better situation to defend ourselves. It seems that way. I think we're finally starting to defend ourselves. Okay, good, good. This is good. This is very good. Uh, when does the next batch? Okay, so we're gonna get a new batch here very soon. So, when those new batch of divisions launch, um, we go scrape the barrel. And I'm like literally waiting for the last freaking day, maybe the last hour, before I have to do this. Just so many penalties to construction that I I don't wanna don't wanna take. Okay, so they're all making their way over. Wait a second, you're, don't defend this any, or yeah, don't, okay, hold on. Okay, you, you go there, and let me make sure that we've confirmed, yeah, okay. And you guys garrison there. That's why they're not, they weren't all coming over. The British are pushing back slightly, which is good. Come on, Soviets, hold on, man. Hold on. I'm gonna need you to hold on for as long as possible. Okay, so next up, next on the to-do list is a sign. Well, let's see. I want people to come over. Let's let's. They should still come over. We want to do a naval invasion. And there is. There we go. So we can do that there. Because I knew that they were gonna start to spread out, and this island for some reason takes a long time to travel across. It's gonna take 24 days. Looks like we already have the seas, the the naval superiority over the seas that we that we need. And then hopefully they get to a naval base as soon as possible to come help out. It is the British, and I don't think the British have much here. They shouldn't have much, at least. Seven. Okay, so yeah, we're 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 pressing forward pretty fast because I I kind of have to. 
What are you guys doing? Are you guys both doing that, or is it just it's just one of you? And that's the problem with pressing forward too fast, but that's okay. Okay, everyone else is at least off these islands, or they're they're making their way over this way. And of course you're gonna go out there in the middle of the ocean. Thirty-seven thousand manpower is low. What what resources do we need? We need more, we need more steel. I need to trade with America, which kind of sucks, because I don't trust that we're going to be friends for very much longer. They're going to be pretty upset with when they find out what I did, what I did, what I do. Are we launching this already? Oh, okay, I was going to say. We're about to, though, nine days. Is there another naval... There is another navy. Naval base. I'll keep that like it where it is, and uh, I'm also going to send the airplanes over. This is actually pretty perfect to put them over here. Let's make sure you guys have extras of that. International focus, I like it. Political correctness, political power, I like it. All right, I think it's about time that we get ourselves... Well, let's see here. Yeah, some of them are already finishing up. Okay. Okay, here we go. Service, uh, scraping the barrel, 300. It's going to train time by 50%. Holy crap, construction speed by 40. Well, do we need scraping the barrel? We could also go 20%. Right now we've got service by requirement that's given us actually only 10. I'd rather do all adults, all, all adults serve. It's not as bad. I'm going to do it because I kind of have to. Because we're just killing Australians left and right. Nice. Like 750,000 Australians. Yeah, but I really can't get much else out of scra scraping the barrels. Not really going to be that much more percentage wise. Okay, here we go. Come on. Let's do this. Southeast, we're going to just do this overall. Why can't I group these guys together? That's strange to me. There we go. And we don't have any aces, right? Yeah, no aces. Can't group these guys together either. Okay. Well, we have we have air superiority, so that's good. Oh crap! No, we fought. We we were fighting these Dutch ships before. I think we were winning them. I think. Excavation three. I might want to go just rush ex excavation four for the extra resources. Yeah, let's try it. Because I need a lot more. We have a surplus of steel at the moment. Surplus surplus of, of aluminum, too. Well, we need to keep that all the same. Okay, is this, is this happening yet? Not... Oh, yep, it is. Okay, here we go. Let's hope everything goes according to plan. You guys need to get towards this. No. Okay. Well, fine. Do it. You guys need to get over here. Oh, do we have enough convoys for this? I guess. I guess we do. Uh, let's put you over there, and then, and then we'll be able to sign these guys to the front lines, and they'll just automatically move. Let's just hope this is successful. And here we go. There it is. Okay, so we want to delete these front lines. We want a front line here, obviously. Make sure the other group gets a front line. Hopefully no one's red exclamation marked right now. Doesn't look like it. And here we go. Wait, wait. You don't go. I've learned my lesson. Do not leave the naval base. Ever. Never leave the naval base. Alright, here we go. Good, good, good. So, it's time to begin. It's time to begin this. Let's do that. Let's do that there. 
All right, that's good, I guess. There we go. Let's have him press forward. I mean, I guess I could, I, I might just group these guys together at some point. I might just, you know, create one big large army. Although, I've got 12 and 13 divisions. We'd actually be over our capacity. We'd have to lift, I think, our capacity limit. Everyone's coming over. This is it. Good, and I don't see any British forces. This is this is good. Okay, so we're coming to help you, Soviets. We are coming to help you. Just hold on for a few more years. We'll start to provide a little bit of push, push, uh, provide pr pressure. I don't know why I can't talk right now. To the Japanese in the south, the Japanese will not be liking what we're what we're going to be doing. Come on forward. There's no way they could be expecting this right now. No naval invasion, right? Yep, nothing to Papua New Guinea just yet. Mongolia has capitulated. All right. This literally couldn't come anytime sooner. Like, this is this is it. We've got to do this fall of Paris. The, Paris has already fallen, though. Keep pressing forward. Uh, we will actually want both on aggressive for now. I'll probably end up changing that. How are you guys not, how are you guys not over here yet? Crown Colony class. Okay, so let's see. It's 1942. Yes, support equipment. That is very important. You guys need to come over here, and you guys need to come over here. And then I'll be in a much better spot once everybody gets over here. You're going to be red flagged. That's... Or I, I don't know. Black flag. I wish it was black flag like EU4. is a much simpler term. What's going on with you, Calvary? You're fine. Stop. What do you? Why are you not moving? Okay, so who is this that we're fighting? Looks like we're gonna be fighting both over here. We should have air superiority. Yes, we do. All the way up to Indochina. That's great. That is good. More reinforcements are on their way. Actually, we've grabbed another naval base, so you guys could just, if you guys wanted to, you could come here. There you go. There you go. It's fine. It's fine. You guys will get it one day. I'm, I'm assuming that's because they initially, we only had the one naval base. They set out for that one naval base. They don't switch paths in the middle. But, um, yes. Oh, yeah. They don't know what's coming at them. They have no idea. Hey, who are you? Oh, yeah. You're still making it over here. Okay. Uh, we want... Probably an extra division of everybody. Why not get two cavalry divisions too? All right, here we go. This is the big stuff. It's the big leagues. We're actually fighting the Japanese. And the Soviets are about to capitulate, so that's scary. Anyways, guys, we'll see what happens. Here we go. This is make or break. If the Soviets capitulate, which there's really nothing we can do to stop that from happening, but if they do, we're going to be all by ourselves, and I don't see us... I don't see us standing up to the Japanese, the Germans, and the Allies. 